Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This I got is... a great theme song. Do it. <laughs> no, I can't. I didn't. <laughs> Uh, and tonight, uh, yeah, they, what you talent get the... has your select board got? We got none. So, it's a regularly scheduled meeting of the Sunderland Select Board. Uh, we can call to order at 7, I'm sorry, at 6, I do this every time, 6.36. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we have a budget uh, overview tonight. We'll likely set our schedule. Our requests have been coming in, including capital as well as operating. Uh, select board updates, uh, town administrator search update. Uh, we had a vote about sending the IRS some money, and we'll talk about that. And uh, we, we, we probably should ex exit an executive session, and that would be for me to update the board about negotiations with Jeff Kravitz. Our next meeting, so pay attention. And it's icy out there, so really pay attention. Because if you're watching TV, hopefully you're not driving. So start with comments of the board. Um, Updates there other? You know, I I looked I haven't heard any other updates other than somewhere on the twentieth I think we might have another the uh, negotiation meeting. But okay. I'm still waiting to hear. I haven't heard this is an update for thirty eight. Yes. Okay. So it's actually a little quiet on that front at the moment. Nice. So. Tom, anything? Um, I was talking to a resident tonight is asked for was asking for an update on senior the senior housing. Uh -huh. um, so I, I, I basically filled her in um, with what I knew and I explained how RFI had had been their pre application had been applied had been approved so right. they could put in the application. Right, right. Exactly. <laughs> So after an hour trying to explain what that meant, um, ba basically they're they have their they're they're going to be able to put in an app they, they are putting in an application for money to uh, construct the um, for a grant to construct the senior housing. What that means for us is that we have to write a letter. Yep, the board does in support. Uh, in support, and then um, they find out. Probably sometime late spring, early summer, mm -hmm. if they get the grant, if they get the, if they win the grant, um, then they can start putting things into final preparation, and we're probably looking for development to occur, um, completion by the by summer of 2022. About that's what we learned. As of yet, I don't know about anything about uh, application or, or putting in applications or getting on a waiting list. So have you heard anything about that, Scott? Uh, they were filing the application after our last meeting. But about uh, can people apply to be put on the waiting list? No, the lottery's not been created. Yeah. So You have to have the project built, and one of the last stages of the project being built is the creation of the lottery. So I think one of the things that we have to do is we have to, if we, and, and I thought, I thought RFI had put a tentative, presented a tentative time schedule. Yep. it's in their proposal. In, in their proposal. Oh, and I'd like to put that on the, on the web page. Oh, sure. It's a good point. So, and so that people have, you know, so people can come and get it or, mm -hmm. or look at it. And I also think um, if we could, Cindy, if we could, also email it to uh, Christina, the uh, senior center director, mm -hmm. so okay. she can so put, she can post it as well. Okay. But I think we have to start outreaching because people actually people I'm I'm kind of glad glad people are asking. Yep. And so we need to be able to put some information out there. So, and 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 I I think this is just a marketing part, which I'm not a, a market person, but um, that we just have to start. To do, um, and so that we get that information out there for everybody. That makes perfect sense. Similar to the lottery for the other complex that I saw. The yeah. Application for that. The yeah. Process. Anything else, Tom? That's it. Thank you, Scott. Okay. A uh, couple of pieces of um, work that has been moved forward uh, over the last couple of weeks. The Green Communities Grant. Mm in this building is partially executed. The controls work is done on these uh, unit ventilators. Um, 
insulating work is about to be, begin. There's some work that was completed down at the public safety complex, and the next phase of that work is going to set up for maybe as early as Friday, right? I saw the emails today. They want to get in there mm -hmm. for Friday. This week, they're already, they're going to be doing the HVAC stuff. Okay, HVAC stuff this They've week. They've already done insulation in this building and down there, yeah. and I believe in the library. Okay. They did the wind certs down there yeah. already. Um, so we just have lighting to go. Yeah until after they finish that bit down at the We'll notice it because that, when the lighting is all complete, we'll all be younger, right. yeah. <laughs> yeah. a little more wrinkles, right. we'll look more lively. <laughs> right. It's all in lighting. Um, we won't be calling you as much. <laughs> <laughs> so that, bulbs. So that, that, work yeah. is, that work is complete. Yeah. In the installation of the controls work in this building, a couple of the radiators were found to need one to trap two of the static radiators in the entryway. Uh, have failed coils. Those coils mm -hmm. are a certain vintage, so they've been kept yeah. off. So you see some water damage, we have to repair over time. Uh, and that's been good. So we can take the compressor offline, get off of the pneumatics, and, and save some money here. Uh, we signed a week ago a bond for the fire truck for about 536 odd thousand dollars. We got notice from the Department of Revenue that that bond was certified. So I guess it's almost going to be starting to get time. Mm -hmm. uh, to pay for the fire truck. That said, the chief has been keeping us apprised as to delivery date and a little bit of horse trading about missing a delivery date. Uh, those details were to follow, but according to the manufacturer and the chief, the truck is nearly ready, if not ready to ship. So we're going to work on the last piece of invoicing. Uh, another piece we were notified that by the DHCD that our housing count, which the state does every every year, our housing count for this year under affordable housing uh, is at 10.65% affordable for the town of Sunderland. They're counting the project commitment from RDI for the senior housing hmm. and because it's committed oh. and uh, the build out of Sugarloaf Estates, or whatever the name is going to end up being. We know it is Sugarloaf Estates. I'm sorry, Sugarbush Meadows. Jesus. The Flats. The Flats. Now it's the Flats. 116 North The 116 Flats. flats. Right? flats. Okay, it's we'll North call it 116. 116. North 116 Flats. Yep. Yeah, there you there have you it. I didn't realize we lived in the UK now. Yeah, there you have it. North, exactly. <laughs> so those two, those two projects, uh, one under construction and one committed, uh, mm. add to our affordable housing stock, and at 10.65%, uh, keeps us away from uh, another 40B project being submitted within a three-year period. So that's helpful. That doesn't mean our commitment to continue to generate affordable housing inside of our housing production plan, we had to take our eye off of. We've got to focus on that just as, just as heartily as we did uh, these other two. Uh, elementary school had a freezer failure, leak, food went bad. They're working on a permanent solution over there. Well, I'm sure we'll see that in our capital piece. I appreciate it was last week when um, a member of the school committee came in and apprised us of that. And we've been following that email work, email threads. And uh, lastly, for those chugging around on uh, 116, pay attention to North Sugarloaf Flats, whatever the heck it's called. North 116 Flats. North 116 Flats. Yes. Eventually it'll all merge into United Amalgamated. <laughs> and it's important to bear in mind there's a raised island out there right now that's not yes. particularly well lit, loaded with a bunch of cones. So pay attention to be there is hustling something in the down middle of the road. 16. Especially if you haven't been in town in a while. Right, 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 right. Mm -hmm. Okay, and those are uh, Capital Planning Committee is meeting at the 14th. Uh, oh, one more piece. The track renovation bids, uh, mm -hmm. sorry, scopes of work were received by the Frontier and the Frontier Capital Planning Committee's meeting tomorrow. Um, tomorrow to uh, yep. review those. Okay. Oh, we there. have a personnel committee meeting on the 14th, too. The Forgot 14th. about that. Why am I keep looking at the 14th and have like alarm bells going off in my head? Because today's the 8th. That's why. Thank you. I feel better already. Today's the 6th. <laughs> today's the 6th. Yep. Well, Sugarbush Meadows. Right? <laughs> here we go. And I got the big calendar here in front of me as well. You guys want to set dates uh, so that we have our... Not with the way you've been doing it. No. The last 20 <laughs> minutes, Tom, no, right? <laughs> um, <laughs> it's all math, right? Sorry. At least it's the right year. It says That's 2020. Yep. Keeping it in focus. 
Okay. Um, so we're January now. Do you want to have, uh, we have a couple of expense budgets still to be submitted. We have some capital budgets to be submitted. We received probably, well, without the schools, we've received probably 30% of the actual budgets. We haven't received the school's budgets, either, uh, either of the three. <clears throat> So uh, what kind of dates, or what kind of schedule do you guys want to have for budget hearing and review? Likely schools will end up being toward the end of February. Yeah, and isn't the, tw is the 20th is a holiday, isn't it? Martin Luther King Day? 17th yeah. is President's 17th? Day. Okay. Yeah. The 20th, uh, 20th of January. MLK Day. 20th of January. Yep. And the 17th of February. So to start maybe st starting next meeting I guess and then start working out from there start with a couple that we have yeah Might as well just start rolling with them okay so let's let's review the ones that we've got that are central to probably this building assessors counting yep. whatever we've got for this building and uh, we can have that as our first one yeah. right town clerk must have theirs assessors must have theirs oh that's right she's on vacation all oh, right she's on vacation and I'm not sure that grouping's ready. I don't have the accountant one. I don't have the charger collector one. Let's make it the 27th. Okay. Right? Yeah. 27th for, the, for the town, right? For the town office building. And then come right back on the 3rd. You want to do police, right? Let's make a schedule. Sounds good. 10th would be the following. That would be fire. Yep. They're submitted. Mm-hmm. Right. Ish. All right. I hear you. Yeah. yeah. And then February 24th, we'll target schools. We'll put that out there for a date for them. And that will leave us library. into the first part of March, so the second for the library. And, they and we can pivot there. if the school is not ready. Right, just right. swap them. Sounds good. Library, and then lastly, highway. We could probably do highway and police together. Put highway, highway and fire. fire. Yeah, highway and fire. Okay. Yeah, if we can do two in yeah. one shot, may as yeah. well. What do you guys think? That gets us to March 2nd. Okay. okay. So we'll, we'll publish that and invite uh, the uh, invite uh, folks okay. accordingly. So the first budget hearing will be the 27th. We can notify the, notify the finance committee they were on for tonight. Mm -hmm. They're out shoveling right now. That's a good thing. <laughs> okay. Uh, under select board updates, one more. I met with I met with Jeff Kravitz, and I'll update the board uh, in executive session. Uh, the meeting went really, really well, and I feel good about where we're at right now. And uh, we're in a position to, depending on the board's vote tonight, um, or the board's discussion tonight. Uh, sorry, vote. We've already voted to extend an offer. Right, this is mm -hmm. contract negotiations. Yeah. Depending on the board's input, uh, we may have a draft that we can send off to council maybe as early as this week. Oh, excellent. Okay. Search update. We're going to send them IRS some money. Oh, okay. So this goes back 18 months, 20 months plus, right, with ACA. Our, our prior treasurer collector was warning us of this, had, had fought with um, the IRS a little bit about the standing, about the standing that the town has on its health care insurance, health care coverage, its percentage, and what the IRS considers uh, affordable and uh, affordable as an employer. That said, uh, they sent us initially over a $20,000 charge to be paid to the IRS. We sent that to our attorneys. The attorneys negotiated that down to 15 ish and uh, that's where a town council has basically weighed in and said, this is as low as we can drive this. The root cause is more interesting to me, and that part I think mm. we can't let go of, right? Yeah. You can't simply say that you have unaffordable health care coverage to employees at based on our matches and the type of plan that we have. And those are the, that's the, those are the two cruxes that we have right here. So whether the, the, our, our next step is to get guidance from council as to what makes sense to avoid this in the future 
uh, whether it's wages and earnings or whether it's plan, plan uh, design or percentage of contribution by the town, yeah. whatever. We have to have some kind of mechanism discussed so that we don't have another one of these in another two years or whatever it is. And maybe when we get some information from council, we can have it as an item on the personnel committee and try Good to point. address it through there. Yep. It's know, certainly going to be integral to the budget process. Mm -hmm. At some point, it's going to be integral to the budget process. Right. You can't have a mid-year fine penalty, not even a fine, a penalty for providing health care, which we provide by the tunes of hundreds of thousands of dollars every year. Yep. So I struggle a little bit with it. We have been guided by council that this is a vote that's required. The question is, where are we going to get the money? And the accountant is in on Thursday. This is due on the 22nd um, of January. Do you want to postpone a vote? Do you want to vote to take action tonight and then find, find what lines are going to be coming from? Yeah, yeah, I think that's probably a good thing. So we can yeah, actually I mean, it, you got to pay for it, Scott. I mean, yeah. Right. Okay, so that said, uh, the, the schedule here is uh, mm -hmm. payment of $15,820 to the IRS. And this is a, a consultation, excuse me, this is a consent agreement with the IRS under form 14764 called an ESRP response. Is there any more discussion? Do a motion on that? Second. Motion's made and seconded to pay the IRS. And all That's those in favor? Aye. Aye. Three to zero, please. Are we postponing, though? We will get from the accountant where the money's coming from. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What's that one? And is that by all of us or just by the board chair? Well, uh, the charger collector signs. Got it. Not the board. That's even easier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you all just had to vote. Go ahead. Town office building. Board of select. Yeah, we need to change that. Yeah, we um, need to, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Good point. Yeah, we're actually legit now as oh, the yep. select so board. It it's everywhere else but here. Right. Yeah, make sure we get on stationery too. Yep. Yes. <laughs> yep. Select board. We've rebranded officially now. That's right. That's okay. It's legit, right? <laughs> It was good being awesome for a little while. <laughs> Go to the newspaper. Well, you can <laughs> they did get us in the newspaper. You know, I say the select board, formerly known as. Well, there you go. I like that. <laughs> I like that. Okay. Uh, minutes of December 30th. Motion. Uh, second. I'll. Okay, so motions made and second. This was the appointments of full-time labor, part-time laborers. Cindy, you said uh, earlier the highway department's still working on uh, filling its labor labor right. challenge? Yes. Okay, and uh, hopefully that can get resolved before we get too deep, much farther in. Mm -hmm. um, time and research update I gave. Okay, then we ended in executive session. Okay. All those in favor of the minutes of the 30th? Aye. Right. Aye. Three to zero, please. Okay. Lastly, we set our schedule. We got our minutes. Um, if it's a prerogative of the board, if it's the prerogative of the board, um, I'd like to brief you an executive session about my last meeting with uh, Jeff Kravitz. And uh, as I said, we should be in a position depending on our discussion, to come out with draft contract from council. Right. Sounds good. Okay. All that said, um, I'd like to move to, uh, excuse me, I'd like to entertain a motion to enter into executive session under Mass General Law, Chapter 30A, Subsection 21, Number 3, discuss strategies with respect to collective bargaining or litigation. Open meeting law may have a detrimental effect on the bargaining or litigation position of the public body and the chair so declares I will declare this and again it's exclusively to update the board on contract negotiations. Uh, motion. Second. Motion is made and second. This will be a roll call vote. Roll call. Mr. Pierce. Aye. Mr. Feigenkevitz. Aye. Mr. Bergeron. Aye. And we'll be returning to open session to adjourn and that'll be it. And
behind the board today. Oz, keeping us honest. Thank you.